truly South African print, of course, it's not print, it's like everything that is not radio and TV, so sometimes people get mistaken. Of course there's a gold for the, the last ones left, that amazing campaign got awarded basically everywhere, seen it in Cannes this year, I mean, no discussion. Truly like, I mean, as a South African, if I would see it and say like, I can do something about this, like, no, no discussion. Gold for Stop Rhino Poaching. Thank you so much for that entry. Um, I thought it was the, one of the freshest things I've seen in, in, in years. Like, it is from here. It is basically a zero uh, run budget. Um, it is so, it learned me something about what, what's in my nails and my hair. And I think what you do with it is, is, is fantastic. This is the kind of entry that I immediately at night in my hotel I sent to like people in the industry from every continent said like what do you guys think of it? Has anyone seen this? This is amazing. And everyone said like if these people would go on with this campaign and get a get a true response about this, like a true result, this is going all the way. I thought it was amazing. Thank you so much. How much is that worth? Fuck you, uh, fucking puncher! The thing that I was watching, it was something, it was like close to a rhino a day last rhino week. Day. It was like 330 something rhinos were killed last, perched last year. We became aware of the whole rhino perching issue that's happening in South Africa and we decided we needed to do something about it. And then they wake up and the, the worst part about it is it's like real vets. What are all the things that they say it cures? Humorous, Cancer, it's comas, comas, it's comas, it's comas, it's comas, it's eating males. It's keratin, that's all lies my friend, all lies. Go and we want to... We want to tell people that. We want to show people. It's, right, right? it's stupid. If it's stupid reasons, then let's do, let's do something stupid to highlight the stupidity of it. Exactly. Why don't we, we get a box of when you put rhino hair and, and we just fill it with aspirin? No, fill, let's fill it with fingernails and hair. Where are we going to get it from? Okay. We, we, need, we need, need you. Instead of signing a petition, you send your toenails and it all gets piled up outside the fucking Chinese embassy. Rhino yes. poaching. Korean embassy, Japanese, Yum. Taiwanese, thank you. Hong Kongese. We're about to cure a coma. Mm. Any of the countries that regularly, illegally import um, poached rhino horn. Oh, right. nails to save the rhinos. rhinos. We're so gay. That was a little. I can't believe I'm doing it. There we go. <laughs> what do you think? Anti <laughs> one. Yeah, no. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not a thousand red, just the nail. <laughs> They're a little dirty, but you're welcome. No, it's okay. Hey, the rhino save. perches need to be hung. They should have their dicks chopped off. Actually. Yeah! <laughs> save Upeja. Save Africa. This is the nail. Delicious. Apparently very intelligent people could have totally irrational beliefs. And for all the good it does, you might as well eat your... chew your nails and, and eat your hair. <laughs> Instead of cutting rhino horns off, why not use our fingernails and hair? Why don't they even have their own skin? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's one of the largest we've had so far. Oh, Angle so you don't feel it so much. Awesome. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
We're going to post them to the embassies. If you want keratin, well, here's keratin. To the person out there was doing the bad things, he's most welcome to come to my barber shop and I'll give him bags of hair. Whoa! Just leave the animals alone. See? Bags, daily. Would you guys use any of this as like natural medicine? No. Jack Parrow is getting his hair cut right as we speak. We just wanted to know if maybe you have a little message for the rhino poachers. Stop poking rhinos, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> And it breaks my heart to see what these people are doing to these animals. I think it's terrible. Oh, they're stupid. Here we go. You know, they're in the public yeah. eye and people take them seriously. You know. Seriously. <laughs> Here I am with That's Fairy great. I tried to see my thing. Oh, you just did it! Ow! <laughs> 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 we, haven't, we haven't asked him before. We're not just walking up to random... Pull on mosses. No clippings. <laughs> Make it strong, fix everything. <laughs> Make it look long time. No toenails left. Would you shoot a poacher? <laughs> would I? I uh, yeah, I probably would. Gonna attempt to harvest some keratin from our local wildlife. One of our best harvests yet. On the way to you guys. Whoa! Ah, he's an ingrowing nail. Yes, it is. I think we met our match in nails. My match. Contact us. Blah! Put some hair and some nails in this one. Look at that. They're basically looking for keratin and we're going to give it to them just with a bit of a, a kick behind it. Last year, 333 rhino were poached right here in South Africa. That's nearly one each day. We found that the general public has become desensitized against the traditional shot tactics. People are left feeling upset and with no way to get involved. The whole plan is based on simple protein science. Rhino horn equals keratin equals human nails and hair. Collect as much nails and hair as possible and flood the Asian market with keratin. Rich, juicy, toenail keratin. And if sending it to their embassies doesn't embarrass them, then what will? Seeing as we had an amazing budget of we took to the streets to make a video that was informative, gross and entertaining to put onto YouTube. We recruited a group of four energetic young men who were also passionate about the cause to go out and harvest keratin from anywhere they possibly could. And then we just let the cameras roll. Less than 24 hours after the launch, the Cape Times featured an article about the project. Buzz about the hair and nail collectors from Cape Town spread across the airwaves, first with mentions and soon live interviews with the guys on radio stations across the country. We um, decided to make a, a protest, um, a, a sort of a political statement, by collecting people's fingernails, toenails and hair clippings. The main thing that stuck out to us the fact that rhino horn is actually completely medicinally useless. It's made 99% from keratin, which is exactly the same stuff that your nails and your hair is made from. And before we know it, uh, there won't be a rhino to be seen on the African continent, and we'll have ourselves to blame, really. Mm -hmm. We had generated so much interest that even though the first video was made with no call to action, people were offering Rodney their hair and nails, and asking where they could send them to. Rodney was even contacted by other advertising agencies who wanted to jump on the bandwagon. It was time to launch phase two. To demonstrate how easy it is to send your hair and nails, we visited a weekend produce market where young and old got the opportunity to clip their own hair and nails, put them in an envelope, address it and send it to Stop Rhino Poaching who then publicly took yes, over managing the hair and nails. Right. The, the second video so was also released on Rodney's fresh, YouTube uh, channel, quickly followed by another video, the worldwide call to action. This led to people organizing hair and nail clipping days at their work, schools and campuses, collecting and sending the proceeds to stop rhino poaching and also uploading their own videos onto YouTube. In the meantime, we had pre-addressed envelopes made and we distributed them with a top-selling local newspaper. 
We also contacted popular hair salons with the opportunity to get their clientele involved. We set up a system wherein people can add 10 rand to their bill, which would then go to stop rhino poaching. The campaign has only been running a few weeks, but the results speak for themselves.